So today I'm going to sign a bill that will help us uh, save lives. Um, I told the Senate President a moment ago that uh, there's few times that when we sign a bill, uh, we, we pretty much know that the bill, by enacting it, it will in fact save lives. Uh, so this is a, a big occasion. We have a number, number of speakers. Uh, we have both the Senate President uh, and the Speaker here today, which is unusual to have both of them, and we have other members of the legislature. Um, and we have, of course, people who are directly involved uh, in, in what happened. Um, House Bill 47 uh, is, requires, makes a requirement for schools across Ohio to have automated external defibrillators, or AEDs. Before, uh, it was a recommendation that schools and other sports facilities should have these. Uh, now it b will be a requirement and so that every school uh, in the state, uh, every one of our public schools will be required to do this. I want to thank the bill sponsors, Representative Richard Brown and Adam Byrd, we'll hear from in a moment. I want to thank them for introducing this uh, very important piece of legislation. I also want to thank the other co-sponsors and a very long list of supporters of, of the bill, uh, some of whom you will hear from today. It's impossible, I think, to really overstate the importance of AEDs. They're easy to use during a sudden cardiac emergency, but they can only be used if they're there and if they're available. They analyze the heart's uh, rhythm, and if needed, they deliver an electric sh electrical shock to help the heart reestablish an effective rhythm. The statistics clearly tell the story of how very, very important it is to have these devices available. According to the CDC, more than 356,000 356, out-of-hospital cardiac arrests occur each year in the United States. An estimated 70 to 90 percent of these people tragically die before reaching the hospital. The American Heart Association reports that 9 out of 10 cardiac arrest victims will live if they receive a shock from an AED in the first minute after the incident. The difference that this device makes is really uh, astounding. Having them in our schools, having them available to safeguard our students is absolutely the right thing to do. Our student athletes are generally very, very healthy. Uh, and these kinds of events are extremely rare, but we do know that they occur. According to the National Institute of Health, sudden cardiac arrest is the number one killer of student athletes in America. In just a few minute, minutes, you'll hear from Kanan Dickman, a student here at Worthington Kilburn who knows about the realities of sudden cardiac arrest and also about the life-saving potential of AEDs. We're joined as well by other guests today with close personal ties to this cause. These, they will present stories of loss, uh, they will present stories of miracles and second chances. All these stories are certainly emotional, they're compelling, and they speak to exactly why this life-saving legislation is so very critical. This bill actually goes beyond simply requiring AEDs in schools. It will also require the Ohio Department of Health to develop a model emergency action plan for the use of these AEDs. And schools will be required to adopt and practice that plan. The bill requires each school to train teachers, administrators, coaches, athletic trainers, and anyone else supervising student athletes on how and when to use AEDs. And of course, young athletes often compete at other venues uh, besides their own school. So the bill also requires AEDs to be placed at municipally, municipalities, uh, owned or operated sports and recreational locations wherever they are. It also requires both schools and sports and youth sports organizations to hold informational meetings each sports season regarding the symptoms and the warning signs of sudden cardiac arrest for young athletes of all ages.